They ain't ready. They ain't ready. Nah. They ain't ready. They ain't ready. No. They ain't ready. They ain't ready. Uh. They ain't ready. Yo. Wow. Imagine taking a oh, pic wow. right here. <laughs> Another beautiful day out here in LA. And today we are going on a mini mission. Silver Lake. Silver Lake for the undefeated raffle for the human race. What are they called? The Holy, Holy Pack. Holy Pack. This is the, like the all white yeah. green one. I actually have a pair on hold from one of my plugs. Of course. Retail, you know what I'm saying? Of course. But you know, I gotta I gotta into the raffle for wifey. Why he's trying to enter for himself. Yes, sir. Wish us luck. The main thing I want to talk about though is some news with Adidas. Now, a few days ago I tweeted that I heard something about Adidas making a huge power move, but I wasn't able to talk about it. Here's the rumor that came out this morning is that there was some buzz during All-Star Weekend that the boy Drake is leaving Jordan brand and possibly signing with Adidas. Now I'm just going based of what is the rumors I can't say what I know yet basically it was it, the rumors were broken by he's like well known in the sneaker community I think I've seen him at sneaker events but I've never been formally introduced to him so I don't really know him like that but he basically said that he heard sources and stuff like that I'll put the tweet up here if you guys want to actually look what he said but basically my point of view I think it's a good thing for Drake I don't think it's gonna affect Jordan brand Drake going there is gonna be dope for him because with Jordan brand they only released six shoes in three years or in two years, however long it was. It was like five years, I said half a decade. So it was 2013, I believe, I want to say. It? That was like five years, right? Yeah. Yeah. Five years. Five yeah. Five years. Six shoes still sounds like a lot, but not when you think about how two of them came out together this past weekend. And Yeezys come out, like six come out in like three Pharrell's months, Pharrell's come out, yeah, tons and tons. Yeah, Adidas just bam, bam, bam they out. throw so many at us. I would love to see tons of OVOs come out, and I don't want to just see sneakers in OVO colorways. I want to see a Drake sneaker. Like his own creative control. Exactly. So whether it's with Jordan Brand or whether it was Adidas, that's what I was looking most forward to. But we never got that. Come on, why the music so loud? We're gonna get copyright fan. Gotta close the window. Jordan Brand is killing it on their own. Like yeah. Jordan Brand is doing their thing this year. Oh my god, these cars are wild. Man. Jordan Brand killed it with all the collabs. Yeah, the off white. Yeah. 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 It's a I think it's a fact that he didn't really work on the shoes. Of course. But I don't see him as a type to do that. Yeah, but maybe that's what he wanted maybe to do. Maybe that's what he wants they, to do now. Yeah, exactly. The, they didn't give it the power. Right, that's why exactly, he left. Exactly, Creative right. control, bro. How many people want their own shoe? Of course. It's a dream. As a kid, I, I want my own shoe like Michael Jordan. Like, exactly. And imagine you like not being able to do that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, OVO colorways are sick on shoes. Don't get me wrong. They're dope. I love I them. Like but own Drake OVO. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is that is that is that what this all is all about? I don't know. But again, I don't. This is not gonna affect Jordan Brand. It's not gonna affect Nike with hype and all that stuff. Nike still killing it jordan brand is still launching an, a ton of dope stuff it is going to bring a little bit more hype to adidas i i know I, I said it wasn't but i think it will a little bit a lot of people are going to be like oh kais now you're going to hop on back on adidas's nuts i've been on adidas's nuts you know what i'm exactly, saying exactly yeah. Wait, that didn't sound right. I'm a fan of every single brand. I love new products. I love new collaborations. Imagine Drake and Kanye make a collab shoe. Wow. Don't get me excited. That's crazy. That might be the dream shoe. Wow, right that's, that's crazy. There's so many questions here. Is the value of OVO Jordans going to go up since they're probably not going to make any more if the, these that's rumors are true? Do. What, like, what do you guys think about Drake going to Adidas? Comment down below. Let me know what you think. And um, I'm excited. 2018 is, is looking kind of like... It already started off so sick. It's suspenseful. Think about it. It's suspenseful because you never know what's going to happen. But anyway, let's go into this raffle. Yeah. Start from the basement. Start from the basement, man. Start from the basement, man. Whoa. They ain't ready. They ain't ready, nah. They ain't ready. They ain't ready, no. They ain't ready. They ain't ready, uh. They ain't ready. Yo, check the my line up the early. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be low key if we can hit the recording. Alright, guys, so we just got to Culver City Mall now. I didn't vlog at Undefeated because we literally just entered the raffle. There's nothing much to see there, but. Hopefully, we win. Hopefully, we win. Yeah, I gotta get base size. But anyway, yeah, we're at the Westfield Mall. We're killing time because we just ate and we need the food to digest in our systems before we go to the gym and get these games. <laughs> 
I'm gonna check if they have the new Nike React sneaker because I'm really interested to trying those out. A lot of people, there's rumors that it's more comfortable than Boost, but I don't think so. So I'm gonna see if Finish Line has it. I heard it's good. Let's check it out, man. Damn, yeah, we're gonna have to try them on, see how they are. Might be another pickup for today. Also, shout out to Hess Kicks because Hess Kicks hit me up about another shoe which has a new technology that I want to try out and he offered me the sneaker for retail so your boy's getting another shoe this week and on top of that I just got a shoe in the mail that I'm gonna be unboxing today for you guys so we just doing all kinds of stuff memories memories in this mall y'all memories in this mall oh I like that black on black oh look at this spring I feel feeling it's like foamy really yeah that might be good and it's bad foamy. Let's try them out though. So for those of you guys that are wondering, my go-to gym shoe right now, well I guess both of our gym shoes. Twinning, twinning, twinning. These are the Under Armour Hover Low Tops right here. This is like the most comfortable shoe right now, yeah. right? But you haven't worked out in these live. I, I mean, just for, da for daily <laughs> He's use. He's such a exposed. It's been a while since I've had like a Nike. How's it feel? I've been using a lot of boost. Oh, a little. A little slim on the sides. I got a fat foot. Is that so ten or ten and a half? This is a ten. Would you work out with these or wear them like they're walking? I need them for. I want to run in them, but that ten is slim. So you need ten and a half. Then. Oh, he's gonna pull out the promo for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, shut up. The hey, manager said I'll get promoted by Sunset Crip. Free though. Oh shit. Grandpa ass. So I didn't pick up those shoes because the shoes that I have right now on my feet, the uh, Under Armour Hovers, you wanna go to those are like, I mean, they they feel pretty much the same and it's like, I'm trying not to waste money. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to pull the trigger on those. Where's Ahmed though? No, your roots. Let's just say, guys. There's mystery. Some there's some, there's some fishy, fishy guys in the crew lately. Honestly, y'all. Swag or Ahmed? Who, who's fishy? Who's the fishiest, y'all? Who's the fishiest? I don't know, Messi is it, there's See, fish in the bay. Up, swag oh, yeah, you're right. All -star, you're so. right. You're right. You're right. That was that was the real fish here. Let's just say Swag's in the gym, man. Let's just say he missed the goodie bag, though. Oh my God, that goodie bag, Papa Q's the realest, bro. <laughs> Whatever party you know that ever does that. You know what I'm saying? sneakers, bro. Everybody was saying Mocha took an L because he got Jordans and everybody oh. else got Yeezys. But the thing those is Jordans that Mocha has Jordan, every yeah. Yeezy. He has every Yeezy, so I wasn't gonna get him one that he no, already but those had. those Jordans, I feel like are worth more than those Yeezys, no? No, no, no. It's not about the value, it's about getting something into the collection they don't have. Damn, bro, All-Star Weekend hit the sale rack. How Who's this? They, how soon they forget? Oh, this hit the hey, sale this, rack this for sure. I literally was about to say, do you remember how poppin' Zoomies was like three years ago? Yes, Zoomies was the spot, bro. All right, guys, so we leave in the mall right now. No pickups from me. Decided to not buy those Nike shoes, so I'm leaving empty-handed, but it's that's a good thing, you know what I'm saying? We don't need to be spending money that we don't need to waste. Sorry for the bad camera. I'm using the G7X because I didn't want to walk around with the big, big camera today, but now we go into the gym. I see the comments. A lot of people noticing oh, the shit. transformation. Oh, I want to say I don't I know. feel good. Let them know. To be honest with you guys, your boy was dealing with some like heartburn and all that stuff. <laughs> I was eating bad. You know what I'm know. saying? But the last few weeks, your boy's been on it and I feel good. Yeah. Still got a long way to go though, but we <laughs> no, just getting yeah. started. Exactly. March 31st, guys. That's the main goal. I want to be in shape. I'm looking to drop. If I don't drop more than 20, then all this would have been for nothing. In the Dream Crew Hoops Classic, just be ready. While we go to the gym, I'm gonna take you guys back to the crib because I have an unboxing front for you guys. So, we're gonna flash over there, and you know what that means. Hit the intro, you feel me? You wanna do the honors, G? You wanna... Let me do. Hit the intro. No, don't do that hand thing. Why? I told him the hand thing is played out. That's like 2016. Okay, fine. Hit the intro. <laughs> <laughs> What's in the box? All right, so before we get into this slight pickup, this is not a hype pickup, this is a slight pickup. I wanna give a huge shout out to my Dream Crew family out there rocking their Dream Crew merch all across the world. Just a quick shout out to all of you guys to tell you guys I do appreciate you guys, I do love you guys. Okay, no more talking, let's find out what is in this box. I'm pretty sure you guys already know because that logo right there. But the question is, which 
colorway. I told you guys yesterday that Adidas did give me this pair right here. This is the green camo version of the Bape Dame Lillard 4s. Very fantastic collaboration. But you know me, man, if I'm going to get one of them, I gotta get all of them. Now, this isn't the complete set of three, but I got my two favorite and the other one, I'm not gonna really rush to get it. I'm gonna wait till the right opportunity comes. So, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. This one was titled as the Friends and Family colorway. This is the most expensive pair as of right now. We've got the red Bape Dame Lillard for Oh my god. They ain't ready. They ain't ready. Nah. They ain't ready. They ain't ready. No. They ain't ready. They ain't ready. Uh. They ain't ready. Yo. So from the two that I do have right now, let me know which one you guys think is the best one. Obviously, I still need the black one. So if anybody has the black one, hit your boy up. I'm going to say this one. I like it more just because it was gifted to me by Adidas. Okay, so yeah, that's my unboxing for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to switch it back to UQ. Take it from here. So basically for me, today was kind of like, not a lazy day, but it was an at-home day. I really took care of a lot of stuff that needed to be done. You know what I'm saying? You know what's an at-home day when you got these on your feet? The Yeezy Crew slippers, you feel me? Also, this morning was the first Supreme drop online of the summer slash spring season or spring slash summer, because I know somebody's gonna correct me in the comment section. Your boy did cook, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to James Harden. I got, I think, five different different items I was able to get the main item which I was going for which I'm not gonna tell you guys because obviously I want to do an unboxing but I was able to get one item checked it out and then I went back and I just added four or five different items that I really wanted and I was able to check out on all of those so successful week one of Supreme's online drop I know I said I wasn't gonna cop that much Supreme anymore but honestly most of the stuff I copped are just little things um, is anybody inside of here or no well um, this was episode two of the new chapter for all seriousness guys thank you guys to everybody who's continued to show support and love over the last few weeks and months and this year for me and for a lot of other youtubers youtube has just been absolutely like stressful as hell as i keep saying you got to continue to grow you got to continue to grind i'm not gonna stop here i have a commitment to you know entertain you guys because you guys are subscribed to me and you guys watch me for a reason so i do this for you guys for all the people who support and drop that positive energy for me so thank you guys i want to see a lot of positive comments today in the comment section so everybody enjoy your guys' day enjoy your weekend dream crew grind out grind hard we out here you already know what it is fettuccine alfredo yeah no microwave and ravioli whoa two presidential my rolling yeah fucking with sito i'm rolling whoa just left with your girl like ginobili hey she told me she feels like she knows me 